Hey lots of miners, welcome back to our channel. If you new here, welcome. My name is Kenzie. This is my mommy Crystal. And today we're at CBS Yaley's a red bag. My mommy gonna do the details and I'm gonna print out the cute parts. Okay, good job. Yay! And yes, my name is Crystal, that is my daughter Kinsley, and we are at CVS. This is our CVS haul video this for August. the <laughs> longest I ever saw it. She's I excited. Toilet paper. Thank you. <laughs> this is our CVS haul video for Sunday, August 25th, and these deals are good all the way until Saturday, August 31st. It is so hot here in Florida, like, whew, I'm like, thank God we're in the air conditioner now, but it was so hot just walking in here. So yes, Kinsley will print out our CRTs. If this is your first time watching, welcome. I do want to let you know that I do provide a printable breakdown. That's the shortest one. Okay, go do another one. I do provide a printable breakdown. It's linked in the description box. Some people keep asking, where's the printable breakdown? Right under the video, there's a little down arrow. Click that down arrow and that's the description box that has all the information about the video. So where you can contact me, where you can find the printable breakdown, any notes or anything I talk about in the video will be linked in the description box. So if this is a Google document, click the link and it'll give you access to view and print. You cannot edit. Um, anything that's highlighted in pink is a beginner deal and a tip make sure you open it using Google Chrome or the Google Docs app on your phone if for any reason the margins are cutting off make sure you view it in print mode and then you'll be able to see the margins and the margins will print out for you so I did not print any coupons today so I don't have any announcements outside of that did get inserts I suggest you get at least two um, because there is gonna be free crest at Walgreens so make sure you get at least two inserts this week um, the deals are okay here, but they're amazing at Walgreens, okay? So without further ado, I'm going to make my three piles of the CRTs. I do yes I'm using today, maybe, and no I'm not. And then I look through those as I'm shopping to see if there's anything that will make my deals better. Oh, I do also want to say that with these CRTs, whatever day you print them is the day they will expire the next week. So I print on Sunday, so my CRTs always expire on Sunday. So the ones that I printed last Sunday, they're still valid until today. So you will see me use CRTs with the expiration date of today. That is because they printed last week. So if you print on Mondays, yours will expire on Mondays. If you print on Wednesdays, yours will expire on Wednesdays. Hope that makes sense for everyone. So now let's go ahead and dive right into the deals. All right, Maximizers, our first deal is on the Nature Valley Bars and Biscuits. I personally love the biscuits and I like the almond butter ones. As you can see, I've already cleared the shelf. As soon as I get in here, the first thing I do is grab my two boxes just so no one else does, okay? So not just these are on sale, it's all of the Nature Valley, um, the non-protein ones. So these chewy ones and then also up here you can see the crunchy ones are $1.88. So you wanna go ahead and grab two of them and let me show you the breakdown. Now, per the breakdown, we're gonna focus on the Nature Valley first and then we'll do the general meals. So they're gonna to come to $3.76 for two. There's my two in my cart. And for coupons, there's a 50 cents off two digital coupon. And then we have a 50 cents off two manufacturer coupon that came out in the eight for smart source. I'm opting for paper just because sometimes the digitals don't work. I'm just gonna use the paper one. Um, that's gonna bring our total to $3.25. There's no rebates or rewards to get back, so it's gonna make them $1.63 per box, which I'm okay with paying with paying for because they're four dollars and 39 cents regular price here and like three something at walmart so for a dollar 63 i'll take it okay not to mention it is my absolute favorite snack to eat morning noon and night like i can eat these things any time of the day they are absolutely what i'm gonna do is on the general mills cereal you can see select sizes the 13.8 ounces it looks like and some 12 ounces and 11.5 ounces they're on sale for a dollar 88 cents as well i checked my pantry we have one box of cinnamon toast crunch halfway eaten and we have one box on the shelf so i was like we can definitely stand to add some more to that um so i told kinsley we can grab some cereal Hi, Thank you. she opted to grab one box of cinnamon toast crunch and then she wants to try the lucky charms frosted flakes okay so we're gonna grab two of them and then per our breakdown, there's a $1 off to General Mills coupon. There is one in the app. I am going to use the app coupon because it's already clipped in here. Um, I know I'm like contradicting myself, but 
using a couple I'm okay with it's just using like too many it just they don't always come off and I don't want to press my luck but because I already have that one clipped but I do have the paper coupon as well in the event that it doesn't go through for whatever reason okay let me grab that and show you guys it came out in today's inserts the 825 inserts 825 smart source okay so we are going to make sure that lucky charms is in there lucky charms all right so it should cover it right because it's lucky charms frosted flakes so it should work hopefully if not i'll make her go back and get another cinnamon toast crunch but it's going to be 376 we're going to use the one dollar off two coupon we're going to pay two dollars and 76 cents or a dollar and 38 cents per box which is great in saving star which saving star is a rebate app which it give you they give you cash back um they have this right here when you spend 15 you're going to get four dollars back so i'm not sure if i'm going to complete the whole thing it's good it expires in six days so i know I, I won't hit that threshold but if you do if you need a lot or if you've been building up to it for the past month then it is definitely something you want to submit the great thing about saving star is that you connect your cvs account to it so anything that you buy that you have activated you will get that rebate back and just make sure you activate anything that you're interested in before you shop has to be clipped before you shop okay i like to point out food deals as much as possible and right here the del monte oranges and peaches they are also on sale for a dollar 88 cents and i just looked up the coupon database that we should have a dollar off two del monte fruit cup coupon that came out in the eight four smart source so the deal is good till the 31st, which is Saturday. So if you need it, go search through your coupons and grab it. Or if you were someone that would pay full price for this anyway, $1.88 is cheaper than the Walmart price. The Walmart price is like $1.99, I believe. So this is still cheaper than Walmart. So I would say go ahead and snag one or two if you need it. Again, the coupon is said to be in the 8-4 smart source. Got Come this two dollar off Hallmark cards CRT. And go into a wedding this weekend, and I need to get a card. So I'm gonna find the most frugal card I can get and use this. And I'm, it's a wedding, so I'm gonna be giving like a cash gift anyway. So I, even if it's just one of like the cash cards that say like congratulations or something, I want to go ahead and get it and try to see if I can get it as cheap as possible. Okay. All right, Maximizers, I was able to find a card for $3.59, and it is a card where you put in a gift card or a monetary gift, which I plan on getting anyway. So this card is only going to cost me $1.59, and this is exactly what I mean about using your CRTs, your extra bucks, your coupons just to get things that you otherwise would pay full price for i was going to the wedding i completely honestly forgot about the gift so i would have gotten to maryland and i would have ran into a store grabbed a card paid whatever price it was and just threw a gift card or cash in it now so grateful for this two dollar crt so now i can give them my gift and not break the bank okay all right, maximizers, I'm not doing this deal, but the PNG is on a spend 20, get a $5 extra buck. Now, I'm not gonna do this deal now, but I very well may do it when I get to Maryland because my mom and my sister like pods, and so I don't have to carry the pods there with me. Um, I have some game coupons that one of my amazing subscribers sent me, so thank you, um, and I want to use them. And then I think in Maryland, they typically get the Tide coupons because the Tide over here is included so if my mom has a tide coupon or two we can get her these pods for as low as a dollar and 69 cents because you can buy four um, of them use four coupons you will have to go on multiple days or multiple transactions because the coupons are a limit of one but if you buy four and use the coupons after you get back the extra buck they come out to like a dollar 69 cents each which is awesome so stay tuned if i do do that i will share that deal with you guys it'll be like on friday if i do it okay but just fyi this deal is good if you need anything like i said in my top deals video look at everything that's on the spend 20 get five right the tide is i see over here all of this for breeze is included get what you need Hello. put together whatever deal works best for you grab the items that you need get your total to twenty dollars use your coupons and get your five dollar extra buck back all right for my beginners if it's your first week couponing and you need some laundry soap a really easy deal to do is going to be on the all detergent um it's on the liquid and on the mighty packs 
it is on sale for two dollars and 99 cents and there is a one dollar coupon that came out in today's inserts the the 825 retail me not okay so if you need laundry soap you can grab an all it's 26 loads for 299 if you have sensitive skin or if you have babies or anyone who doesn't like to use regular detergent the all free and clear works amazing okay so if i was to do this i would grab the mighty packs now to be honest with you it is cheaper at walgreens so i'm gonna do the deal at walgreens this week because they are on sale for i think two dollars and 88 cents at walgreens let me double check Yes, it's $2.88 at Walgreens with the coupon, it's gonna be $1.88, so that's like saving 11 cents. So yes, I'm gonna save the 11 cents, but I wanted to share with you, if you only have CVS, or you're only planning to go to CVS, you can still get some all for $1.99, okay? There's the Shea Moisture is buy one, get one 50% off, and I decided to try my luck with these masks. They're um, single-use masks. They are $3.59, so I scanned them at the red box, and they indeed are ringing up buy one, get one 50% off. So that means the first one will be $3.59, second one will be like $1.75, and we'll get back a $5 extra buck. So these could be free. I'll do the math at the end, because I didn't do the math yet. I was just like, let me see if these are included. So I'm gonna try it in a separate transaction. If I don't get the extra buck back, you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to return them if I don't get the extra buck. With the extra buck prints, it'll be a happy day. So just try, don't try it. Wait, let me be your guinea pig and then we'll see if it works. Okay, beginners, here's another really easy deal that you can do. This is a awesome deal. It's gonna turn out absolutely amazing. And I found a rebate, so it's gonna go even better. So the Garnier Fructis, they're on sale two for $7 everybody should have received this one dollar instant coupon as long as you've had your cvs account for at least a week you should have received this coupon okay and then in today's inserts the retail me not this four dollar off two um garnier fruities coupon came out so let me show you the breakdown grab what you want a shampoo and a conditioner that's what i'm going to do i'm going to grab one shampoo and one conditioner i like to get the curl nourish it smells good it works good and then also when I sell my stockpile the people that I sell it to they love that one so here's my breakdown right here two for seven we're gonna use the one dollar instant coupon right and we're gonna use the four dollar two four dollar off two manufacturer coupon that brings our total to two dollars at the register that's how much you're gonna pay but in saving star good old saving star I had clipped from a couple weeks ago because whenever I see anything that I think I might buy I always clip it this right here you get a dollar back at cvs and dollar tree so we're gonna pay two dollars but we're gonna get this one dollar back from saving star that'll make the final cost just a dollar or 50 cents each 50 cents is a definite stock up price for shampoo and conditioner okay one dollar each is my stock up price for shampoo and conditioner um so when you can get it for that or less definitely get it so if you're a beginner and you have the inserts from today i highly suggest that you do this deal get your your feet wet and couponing and it's very easy to do the next deal i'm gonna do is on the vaseline it's on a spend 12 get a four dollar extra buck so i've already put the ones i want in my cart i'm gonna grab the aloe thing with aloe works great for her and i'm gonna grab one of the cocoa radiant um, the Coco Radiant is $4.69 and then the it was down on the bottom shelf but it was $7.99 for the bigger bottle of the aloe one. That brings our total to exactly what we expected on the breakdown $12.58 and we have coupons. These coupons came out last week in the $8.18 retail me not if you see right here on the breakdown so let me grab them. So here's the two coupons I'm going to use. They are a limit of two so I can use two of them but it's $2 off 6.8 ounces or larger. Um, the ones that I have are 10 ounces and 20 ounces, so we are in the clear. So we're gonna use these two coupons, which will take $4 off our total. And then I'm gonna do the deal down here with the CRT because I do have a three off 10 lotion CRT. And you see that expiration date? That's because I printed it last Sunday and it expires this Sunday, okay? So that's gonna take $7 total off of the total, leaving me to pay $5.58 but we're gonna get back that $4 extra buck. So it makes the final cost just a dollar and 58 cents or 
79 cents each that is an amazing price for lotion like that is a stock up price like even to just pay five dollars for lotion that costs 7.99 and 4.69 is absolutely amazing and then after getting back that extra buck it makes them 79 cents each so i'm totally excited about doing this deal and i haven't bought vaseline lotion in a while okay this is a super awesome deal to do i'm not going to do it because we have a ton of nail polish and i don't paint kinsley's nails half as much as i should or want to um, i'm definitely going to make a valiant effort to do more of that in the future but you can see the paparazzi nail polishes are buy two get a four dollar extra buck um and they are two for five dollars so you can see right here they are two for five dollars so basically you're going to pay five dollars out of pocket and you're going to get back a four dollar extra buck making each nail polish 50 cents and these are like big sizes of nail polish so it's an amazing to get those for just 50 cents each okay all right maximizers i'm gonna grab some super cheap tampons the you buy copex are buy one get one 50 percent off and when you buy two you're gonna get a dollar extra buck what i'm gonna grab is i'm trying to see i'm gonna grab the ones that are 6.79 i'm gonna grab um two boxes of those tampons let me show you the breakdown right here first one will be 6.79 second one will be 3.39 it's going to bring our total to ten dollars and 18 cents um i have a bunch of coupons i have this two dollar off two you buy kotex tampons came out in the 811 smart source um last week this two off eight crt printed for me so i'm going to use that and then i have two you buy Kotex instant coupons that printed for me today, a $2 off and a $1.50 off. So I'm going to use both of those as well. That's going to bring our total down to $2.68, which is amazing for two boxes of tampons. That's 36 tampons. We're going to get back a dollar extra buck. It makes the final cost a $1.68, 84 cents each. Definitely down for 84 cents tampons, okay? All right, so I'm gonna grab one Revlon thing. I'm not even gonna do a full Revlon deal. Um, so these Revlon Kiss Bombs are $4.99 and this coconut one has become my absolute favorite chapstick to use at the moment. So I realized I don't wanna use, I don't wanna waste this um, instant Revlon that I got and it's gonna work on that. So it's $4.99, so I'll end up paying 99 cents for it. But it's gonna count towards CVS Beauty um, and I am totally okay with paying 99 cents for something that I really love because the, the lip coupons that Revlon makes, it excludes the Kiss Bomb. So I can't get them cheap like we used to. So this may be my one chance or future chances to make sure I remember use the instant coupons to get what I like right Revlon Kiss Bomb is what I like so that is what I'm gonna grab so I'm gonna grab one of them use this instant coupon and pay 99 cents for one and I, I also just want to say that like in the old days when I wasn't getting chapstick because I didn't realize that um Revlon and Maybelline had the chapsticks I would just always go to Walmart and grab the um, the chapstick strawberry or the regular chapstick and throw it in my cart so I would do that like every three months I would grab like three or four of them so it's just the same like I said earlier getting things that I need and want that I would otherwise pay full price for even if it's for a different brand to get this brand for just 99 cents and I have to settle for a cheap old chapstick I'm totally happy about Okay, so I did not plan on doing Milani Cosmetics this week. It's on a spend 10, get a $7 extra buck, but I got this 30% off Milani Cosmetics. So it's gonna be very close to a freebie. It's gonna cost less than a dollar because I've had my eye on this soft focus complexion enhancer. It's kind of like a BB cream. So I'm gonna try it. This is the medium deep. So I'm gonna get it, it's $10.99, let me show you the breakdown. I wrote it here, 30% uh, of $10.99 is $3.29, so I'll pay $7.70 at the register, but I'm gonna get back a $7 extra buck, that makes it just 70 cents. Awesome, super excited to try this. Um, and this also counts towards CVS Beauty, so between this and the Revlon, I'll definitely get another beauty buck next week. So, hey Maximizer, here's our haul, and my mommy's gonna go through the transaction. Thank you, Kinsley. We have six transactions here, and I have them broken up all nice and neat. This is my CVS transaction breakdown. It's linked in the description box as well. It is a blank document you print out. It allows you to know down to the cent um, before tax how much you're gonna pay. Then you have room to write in what extra bucks you wanna roll, 
how much you'll pay at the register and any rewards you get back so this is an amazing tool i love it my cashiers love it because i know exactly how much everything should be um and what coupons i should be using okay so i do have six transactions and people always ask why do i break up transactions i have a whole video i'll link it here the cvs why to break up transactions um so i do multiple transactions to maximize my savings to best use my coupons okay let's go through each transaction first one i'm going to do is going to be right here actually it's going to be on the shea moisture we're going to do we're going to be the the test dummy to see if it works um they're supposed to be buy one get one free at 359 each um and when you buy two you get a five dollar extra buck so i have myself paying the full three dollar sorry the full five dollars and 58 cents out of pocket because i did want to roll an extra buck and then the extra buck not print and i have to return it so i'm going to pay the five dollars and 38 cents and hopefully get back the five dollar extra buck so that's why i just left this like this and not rolling any extra bucks or anything i can put the lines in here oh and i also wanted to tell you guys that my goal is to spend ten dollars or less out of pocket um that's with tax so this is literally taking up half my budget which i have extra bucks that i could have rolled on here but personally i just don't want to do it just in case the extra buck doesn't print and i have to return them i'd rather just get cash back i've never returned anything that i got used an extra buck for but i don't think they give you your extra buck back they give you the price that it costs after using that extra buck so it'll probably be like five cents back and that would really irk me so i've decided to just take one for the team pay cash out of pocket pray that extra buck prints okay so that's transaction number one transaction number two is going to be our food deal we're going to get the uh cereal so they're dollar 88 and we're going to get the nature valley they're also a dollar 88 and we have coupons we have the 50 cents off to paper coupon for the nature valley and then in the cvs app i have that one dollar off to coupon let me show it to you all again after using all the coupons let me i'm trying to pull up the coupon but after using all the coupons let me show you the transaction oh, breakdown for that one which is right here transaction number oh, two our total is going to be seven dollars and 52 cents and here is the coupon right there the one dollar off two after using the two coupons i've showed you guys our total is going to be six dollars and two cents i'm legit going to pay with a six dollar beauty buck that i received today that's going to leave us to pay just two cents out of pocket i have some change in my wallet i will pay with the change and there's no extra bucks back but i'm super happy to get food items and only have to pay two cents of my own money also i'm going to be swiping my paypal debit card and i did cash out to abata and i still have money there so thank you abata for helping to fund our couponing transaction number three we're gonna do the vaseline lotion again it's on spend 12 get four so we're gonna get this one is 7.99 this one is 4.59 that brings our total to 12 dollars and 58 cents we have two two dollar off two vaseline coupons and we also have the three off ten crt so that brings our total down to five dollars and 38 cents and i have a five dollar extra buck that i'm going to roll to 50 oh i thought that was 38 it's 58 it's gonna leave us to pay just 58 cents at the register but we'll get back yeah. that four dollar extra buck um so these are gonna come out to 79 cents each which is awesome okay and when i calculate the final price i calculate it based on um once i get the extra buck back i don't calculate it. oh i paid 58 cents so it's a free money maker no i calculate it from here this is the total extra bucks are a form of payment so that doesn't go into how much it costs hope that makes sense next we're going to do you buy kotex right here buy one get 150 percent off buy two get a one dollar extra buck so the tampons are 679 so the first one's 679 the second one is 339 that brings our total to ten dollars and 18 cents and i have a bunch of coupons so we have the two dollar off two manufacturer coupon then we have i have a 150 instant i have a two dollar instant and i have a two dollar off eight crt after using all of that our total is going to come down to two dollars and 68 cents now because i don't want to spend a lot out of pocket i'm also going to take one for the team use this three dollar extra buck it will be reduced down to 268 but it'll make the entire transaction free and i'll get back a one dollar extra buck that's just so i don't have to spend any additional money out of pocket i have trying to be as frugal as possible and pay as little as possible out of pocket okay um then the revlon and the milani 
Um, I'm gonna do the makeup next. They come out to fifteen dollars and ninety eight cents. It is makeup. It's and for coupons, like I have the four dollar Revlon. I have the thirty percent off Milani. After using those, it's gonna bring our total down to eight dollars and sixty nine cents. I'm gonna roll an eight dollar extra buck. And that's gonna leave us to pay just 69 cents plus tax at the register. So I'm super excited to have that low out of pocket for our two makeup items and it will count towards CVS Beauty. So that's transaction number five. And then transaction number six, I'm gonna get the Hallmark card. Don't wanna show you guys because I don't know if the engaged couple are watching. I doubt they are, but I don't wanna show the card. And then the Garnier Fruit Teas is two for seven. So the card is $3.59 and the Fruit Teas are two for seven. That brings our total to $10.59. And we have all these coupons. So we have the $4 off two fruit teas coupon. It came out in this week's insert. So anybody can do this deal. The $1 off two Garnier fruit teas instant coupon that everybody should have got. And then I'm going to use this $2 Hallmark instant coupon. That brings our total down to $3.59. I'm going to roll this beauty buck that actually expires on this upcoming um, Sunday. So I want to use that. Brings our total to just $0.59. Cents plus tax at the register and we're only going to get back a dollar back from saving star for the fruit teas okay so maximizers that's everything i'm going to show you a little bit of behind the scenes at the register and then i will see you all when we get back home here's my cart and we organize it we do transaction number six in the back and then we do the rest up until the front okay and i changed out my coupon bag for my old work bag since i won't be using it for work anymore <laughs> So, I don't know if I like it. I love backpack life, but I don't know. I'm still trying to see if it grows on me. I'm not sure if I like it. But anyway, that is my cart. Now we're about to head to the register. We just took our in-store pictures, which are hilarious, by the way. So, yeah, we're going to go to the register. I'll see if I can um, show you guys a little bit behind the scenes. Okay, transaction number one went great. And look, we got the extra box. So, those small shade moisturizers are working. With tax, I paid five seventy nine. Got back a five dollar extra buck. Tax was forty one cents, so they cost us thirty eight cents plus tax. I'm down for that, and it's gonna count towards beauty. So easy deal, easy easy. Okay, give the coupon. Make our next because it's so so small. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to give you the card. Please wait, Please. it's not time yet. You wait. Get, get, get. Gotta wait for all the magic to happen. No, any magic. I don't think I was gonna say, I don't think we have to pay anything with this one. So, I made a very rookie mistake, and I know that I'm not that I can't do this, or I know how the coupons work, and I did it. So, you know how I have that 30% off Milani? Whenever you have a percentage off coupon, it comes off after your extra bucks and after everything. So, because I did it in the transaction with the Revlon and I was trying to use that extra buck to lower my out of pocket, the extra buck lowered the 30% off. So instead of me getting $3.29 off, it only took off $1.10. That $2 is too much for me. So now I'm gonna bite the bullet. Sorry, I paid 99 cents out of pocket for the Revlon when I should have just thrown that in with the Garnier Fruit Teas deal to actually use the extra buck, whatever. And now I'm gonna pay cash out of pocket for the Milani. So I'm gonna end up paying an extra almost $9 out of pocket that I didn't plan simply because I didn't do my math right. And at this point, I'm CVS exhausted. So I'm just going to pay cash out of pocket for it. And then I will, you know, learn my lesson for next time that's why it's good to use percentage off coupons but then not because it comes off after every other coupon so every extra buck store coupon it comes off so since that extra buck was in that transaction it you know shorted me two dollars and like 20 something cents so moral of the story is i'm paying more out of pocket than i planned but it's okay i had the money in my budget i'm just trying to be more frugal but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do it because it's an awesome deal so i'm down to two more transactions the fruit teeth and the milani i'm gonna do those two and then i'll see you guys back at home but don't be like me do your math right <laughs> i'm super mad at myself because I should have just paid the $3.70 out of pocket is what it came out to. 
and instead with not getting the highest value of the coupon so that just goes to show you that someone who's been couponing for 10 years still has hiccups I still make mistakes I still don't get it right every single time that I shop right this hasn't happened to me in a long time but it's just a dose of reality that like stay on your toes crystal stay on your toes so I'm not gonna beat myself up about it too much you hear me whine about it a little bit more when I get home because basically I just wasted six dollars but I don't really say it's wasted. It's just reallocated. I reallocated $6. So, But overall, great day. Now we're heading to Walgreens where we're going to kill. So make sure you check out my Walgreens video. I'll leave it linked at the end of here as well because Walgreens is like amazing this week. Okay, Maximizers, we are back home from CVS. And here is our haul. Everything went great except I made a really... I made a rookie mistake, which I share with you guys in store, so I'm not going to harp on it too much. But long story short, the Milani percentage off coupon, I should not have been using an extra buck if I wanted to get the max value of the 30% off. So I unintentionally had it in a transaction with the extra buck, realized it when I was actually like about to pay, decided to break up the transactions, and ended up spending $6 more than I needed to. But again, you live and you learn. I made a rookie mistake. It won't happen again. It's burned in my brain now. Um, and I'll go over it when I get to the transaction. But outside of that mishap that I made, everything else went through fine. So let's go through each transaction. First off, the Shea Moisture deal went through perfect. Super excited. These basically are 38 cents for each. I'm sorry. 38 cents total, which is like, what, 17 cents each, 19 cents each? Like, oh, so excited. So here's the receipt. You can see it rang up buy one, get one, 50% off. Subtotal was 538 like we expected. It'll say we saved 25%, womp womp. And then we got a $5 extra buck back. So that makes the final cost 38 cents for two. And this counts towards CVS Beauty. So I was super happy that that worked. So I got the $5 extra buck for that. Transaction number two, when I did the Nature Valley and the General Mills cereal, that one went through perfectly fine as well. Our subtotal came out to just two cents after rolling our $6 extra buck. Down here, it'll say I saved 100% because I only had to pay two cents. And yeah, I didn't get um, anything back for that, but to only pay two cents of my own money, I'm okay with that. So thank you, CVS for allowing me to use extra bucks to get four things that I need and want for just two pennies of my own money. So I'm down for that. Then we did, what do I have next? The Vaseline over here, the two Vaseline lotions. That went through perfectly fine. All my coupons came off, no issues there. My extra bucks came off, my CRT. My subtotal was 78 cents. So I was a few cents off. So let me see what happened. 7.99 and 4.79. Up, oh, that's what it is. I had it as 4.59, it rang up 4.79, so it's 20 cents more, but even still, I'm totally okay with paying it. And we got the $4 extra buck back, okay? Super easy. Then we did you buy Kotex, another one that came out super easy. And I used that $3 extra buck and you see right here CVS manufacturer coupon, it priced down to 268. So yes, I lost out on a few cents of my extra buck, but I didn't pay anything out of pocket. Literally, I gave CVS enough coupons and extra bucks and I paid zero dollars at the register. It's always a glorious day when that happens. And I got back a one dollar extra buck. So great, great transaction. So two dollars and sixty-eight cents after coupons and I paid zero dollars at the register. So thank you, CVS. So then I had my mishap for these two. So I paid for the kiss bomb. I paid 99 cents out of pocket for the kiss bomb. And you know what I should have done? I should have just, when I did the transaction with them together, it was like $3.70 for everything with tax. I should have just did it. I was only getting like a um, dollar and some change off of the Milani after the extra buck. But it would have saved me. Like paying $3 is better than me paying $6 more. Like I paid $9 total for both of this stuff out of pocket when I could have just paid $3 out of pocket and still got my $7 extra buck. Like I don't know what I was thinking. My brain wasn't working. That's what like whenever something crashes at the register in the moment, like I need time to process and I didn't process it through to where it's like dumb, dumb, just do the transaction. So like I said, you live and you learn. Here's my Milani receipt. 
I paid $7.69 out of pocket. I got the $3.30 off and I paid $8.52 plus tax. Then I got back my $7 extra buck. So it does make it like $0.70, cents, but either way, it would have been a good transaction. But like I said, you live and you learn. So just remember, when you have percentage off coupons, every coupon comes off first, every extra buck. So manufacturer coupons, CVS coupons, extra bucks come off, and then it will take your percentage off of what's left over okay that's why i was only getting a dollar off because it took off some of its total from the eight dollar extra buck i was attempting to use okay and then over here we did the fruit teas and we did the hallmark card here they are right here ringing up and then you can see i used the four dollar manufacturer coupon the two dollar instant coupon the one dollar instant coupon and that beauty buck then i paid 59 cents plus tax like i expected and there was no extra bucks or anything back for this but i wanted to show you that it says i saved 95 percent and the card is definitely needed like i said i probably just would have ran into a local cvs when i got to town and grabbed a card and not even looked at the price but i'm so happy that i was able to use that instant coupon so besides that little faux pas everything went as planned everything is still as cheap as i told you these are 19 cents each the nature valley come out to a dollar 63 cents each Cereal comes out to a dollar and thirty-eight cents each. Vaseline seventy-nine cents each for Vaseline after extra buck. Eighty-four cents each for the Kotex. Ninety-nine cents for the Revlon. Seventy cents for the Milani. And all of this stuff counts towards CVS Beauty, so I'll definitely and the Garnier. So I'll definitely be getting a Beauty Buck next week. And then the Hallmark card was a dollar fifty-nine, and the Fructis come out to fifty cents. And they're 50 cents because they were two for seven. We used a $4 coupon. We used a $1 instant coupon. And we're getting a dollar back from Saving Star this week. So overall, I'm happy even with my mess up. Um, my out of pocket was a little higher. I didn't even calculate it because I'm so upset about it. So, but next week we will try to keep the out of pocket $10 or less moving forward. That will be the goal. Unless it's like something, oh my gosh, I need it desperately. We're going to try to keep everything to ten dollars or less if you have any questions please comment those down below make sure you are on the email list i'm doing two free webinars this week one on tuesday and one on wednesday couponing if you are a beginner if you're a newbie if you need a refresher a touch up you should join it's totally free click the link in the description box and get on the email list and you'll get all the details if you want more help couponing as well there is a paid option that gives you a little bit more of a community aspect five dollars per month you get a private facebook group you get two extra content videos per month three additional live sessions you get a monthly topic and so much more access to me so if you're interested in that all the links are in the description box stay tuned because some of my most recent videos are going to be up my i got fired video is going to be up and i can't believe it's already been a week my one year on youtube video is up and my stockpile tour so if you're interested in any of them they're going to be linked at the end of the screen also make sure you check out my walgreens haul video that's up on my channel so yes there's tons of videos hop on over check them out let me know if you have any questions stay tuned for the next screen of the videos and that is all for our CVS haul this week, August 25th through the 31st. Go ahead and snag your deals. Maximizers, thank you all so much for y'all love and support. Y'all are amazing and y'all really keep me going. Please check out some of my most recent videos. If you have any questions, please comment those down below. We'd love to see you at the webinar, so make sure you sign up. And if you're interested in the Patreon, like I said, you should definitely join. If you have any questions, please comment those down below. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.